All right, so we're, we're having this sale until the end of the month. So you can go ahead and enroll in the program, get in the course. There's a lot of stuff down there. We're gonna get into a lot of saucy stuff, a lot of things that uh, we're going to get into. So the links will be below. So you can go ahead and jump into that. The dark days are coming. I was reading this report where more people than ever have not one full-time job, but two full-time jobs. And this is more in line with what I talked about in my video it's more expensive to live in America. And this is going to be really, really dramatic. If people do not understand the need that they have to start a business, that they have to get more income, I feel we're going to move to that either the have and the have not economy much sooner than I previously thought. Right now, there are people out there who are working really, really hard. They're working two jobs. They're working three jobs. It kind of reminds me of where I was many, many years ago. I used to have a full time job, a part time job and what was called a PRN job. And one of the things that happened was I was just working and working and working and working and working and working. And, working and it was really, really harsh. I don't think Americans today are built to work like that because there was a two year period where I worked seven days a week and I did not take it. I didn't have a day off in two years. And this is becoming a normal part of living in America. This is becoming more in line with living in America. This is becoming very, very much part of the American experience of people working like crazy. And, you know, this is one of the things that we we've not really addressed in the commercial. Well, in the regular job market, the regular job market. Now, if you're doing DoorDash, you're doing Uber, you're doing Lyft, you're doing Instacart you have the option to work seven days a week. And if you work in a regular job because of the laws, you are not going to be able to work seven days a week because once you get past 40, you get into overtime. So they're not going to let you. They would rather go out and hire someone to work part time than to pay you those additional dollars. And we're moving to a point where it's going to become critical for people to go ahead and set up this business. And th this is something that I've talked about. I've talked about it over and over and over again. Maybe an eBay business, maybe whatever kind of business you, that works with who you are as a person, this is going to be the mandate. Right now, we have millions and millions of people entering the country. And I noticed this when I went to, uh, I stopped at Zaxby's and I noticed that the whole staff was Hispanic. And then I went, just stopped at a few other restaurants just to check. And I saw it over and over and over again that overwhelmingly fast food help is becoming Hispanic. And these people are coming here and this is what they're doing. They're living three and four and five and six families in one house and they're pooling their resources and they're going to be the haves in America, while a lot of Americans will be struggling and indigenous Americans will be struggling because one of the things that happens is when you come from a place like El Salvador or Mexico, and this is what's funny, the people are not leaving Mexico to come to the United States. They're leaving El Salvador, Guatemala, and these other countries where living is really, really harsh. And when I say harsh, I'm talking about getting clean drinking water. It's a chore. And you got people coming here with that kind of mindset where they were living next to a stream. And now it's like, wait a minute, you got to tell me if I'm willing to live with two or three other families, I get to live in a house that's air conditioned and has proper heating and all these other things. Sign me up. And what's going to happen is these immigrants or migrants are going to be pushing 
people out of the American dream. Because when I saw that stat, that more people than ever have two full-time jobs. And during the pandemic, this was kind of a thing for those in the upper tier job class, like programmers, people who worked at home, it, it became a thing where they would get like two six figure jobs or two, you know, and they would just like pay off their house or do all this other crazy stuff. So one of the things that's going to happen is as we move forward into this new paradigm, as we begin to really, really open up the door to this new America. I call it the new America. And you cannot be an average person. You cannot be a regular person. You cannot be an uneducated person. That's for sure. You cannot be uneducated because this is going to open the door for you to basically starve. I was watching this video and there are going to be more and more people leaving the United States of America because I was watching this video where this guy was in Mexico and you can get a two bedroom, a two bedroom apartment. Uh, I don't know if it was a house of apartment, but it looked like a townhouse because they were all connected and it was only like three hundred and fifty dollars per month. So if you were someone on Social Security and you were getting like twenty five hundred bucks a month well, on the higher levels of Social Security and you move to Mexico, you can make it you can easily make it and what's going to happen as we move forward in the world is we're going to have a lot of people leaving the united states because they're not going to be able to uh live here they're not going to be able to afford to live here they're not going to be able to afford to do the things that they need to do to situate living in the united states of america they're not going to be able to um do the things that they need to do in terms of providing a the standard of living in the United States. This is one of the things that we will consistently see as we move forward, because here's where we're, we're, we're really going. This is where we're really going. We're going to a position where people are going to actually do the work of educating themselves. Education is a huge, huge, huge key. Education is huge. Education is a big part of moving up in the American system. And you can either self-educate, that's what I did, self-education. I got on a massive self-education program. And when I meant self-education, it wasn't like for a few weeks or a few months. I self-educated myself for years. I would say, starting with Earl Nightingale, Tony Robbins, and I got hands-on education. I got the education that I needed, and I got, I would work and I would educate myself. So it was like working, cause like, you know, I'll, I'll tell you the story of how I got the job at rent crate Long, long time ago, uh, laid off, fired, laid off, same thing. And I went home and I came up with a plan. And this came from the teachings of Earl Nightingale. I came up with a plan. And the plan was how to go ahead. Cause you know, I, I, I remember I got laid off and I wasn't, I was highly, highly disappointed. I was really, really disappointed. But um, one of the things that I did is I didn't get upset. I didn't lose my mind. I sat down and I thought of a plan. I thought of a plan that would liberate me and I went home and I actually sat down and I wrote up a plan. I wrote up a plan where I created my own reference and my resumes were tailor made. They were hand fit for each job. And I got a call from Renacrate for an interview. Then I went on the first interview. Then I went on the second interview. Then I went on the third interview and then I got the job. And I remember my starting salary was 38,500 bucks. Adjusted for inflation, that's like rolling to a job starting at 60 today. And it was the most money that I had ever made in my life. And that literally opened the door. And what opened the door for this whole process was self-education. It was massive self-education because this is something else too, because once again, I went to college, but I dropped out my junior year and I kind of 
put together a plan and I'll even tell you this plan. I was thinking about going back to get my bachelor's and then immediately roll in to get my master's, right? And if I had started on this plan, guess when I would have graduated? Guess when I would have graduated? I would have graduated during the recession of 2008, nine and 10. That's what I would have been coming off into. So starting a business hands down was the best option for me to be productive, for me to actually go ahead and situate myself where I could be in a good position, a really, really good position. Because one of the things that I have noticed and one of the things that I've looked at is that people, because right now, if you go to YouTube, the number of people who have quit their job without a really deep plan is, is numerous on YouTube. The number of people is like, I quit my job, I quit my job, I quit my job. It's numerous, right? And I didn't quit my job. I was let go and it took me six weeks to find another job to get the job at Renecrate. But more importantly, all of these lessons that I learned, because this is the first time I had an emergency fund. I had money in the bank close to $4,000 that was able to carry me through those six weeks where I was able to pay bills, eat and do stuff. And this is why I talk about personal finance so hard because once you go ahead and you get your personal finances together, this opens up many, many doors. This opens up a lot of doors for you to be progressive, for you to, I, I mean, it, if it wasn't for me having that emergency fund, I would have been screwed. I would have had no job, I would have had no income, I would have had no money. And that's the lesson that I learned. And that's how I ended up in that boarding house because I didn't have no money, I had no money. So one of the things that you wanna do is to go ahead and set yourself up to be in a position where you can get this education. This is key because if you're working two full-time jobs, which is something I did, that speaks to a level of your education, that speaks to your skill sets, and you just don't have the proper skill sets to make enough money to live. Because I will tell you, are there job, are there careers where one person can work and support a wife and two children? Absolutely, absolutely. There's tons of stuff like that, but you got to have the right skill levels. You've got to have the total situation. You've got to be really, really up on it. You got to be on it. You, you got to be highly skilled because what I see is this wave of Americans working two full-time jobs, three full-time jobs is going to grow. It's going to become more people doing this. You're going to have more people who are going to be out here struggling to actually do the things that they need to do to be able to live in the United States of America. And the number of people you will see who have a full time job and then they would do Uber or DoorDash. It's going to be crazy. You're going to have someone who's working 40 hours a week on their regular job and then they're going to come home and they're going to do DoorDash or, or, or Uber Eats for another four or five hours. So the, you're going to have a bunch of people who are going to be working 12, 16 hour days. And on the days that they don't want to work, they're going to do DoorDash or, or Lyft or whatever they can all weekend long so they can have some money. And this is one of the things that I see happening as we begin to move towards the new America. All right. There's a lot that's going on. A lot that's going on. That's all I got for you guys today. I will talk to you in the next one.